one other thing that you you were talking about was like the I guess the ranking of like mind body spirit you know and you were saying like that that people I forget who it was but they were saying like say the mind is is higher than the the body but and I've thought about this so many times you know like uh like what is it that sort of comes first you know say when you want to go for a run is it my mind telling my body um or is it my body going and then I was listening to a podcast ages ago. It was um, Rich Roll, and he was—I forget who he was talking to—but but they they said something, and ever since then, it's it's really stuck with me that action leads emotion, right? So you're lying in bed in the morning. It's six a.m. and your alarm goes off, and you're like, "Ah, oh, there's no ways I'm going right because I'm just tired, or whatever," and you just go back to bed. That action leads to you probably having a day where you're like, I don't know, you just don't have a great day because you didn't make that effort in the morning. But the opposite is very true as well. So your alarm goes off at 6 a.m. in the morning. You're like, right, I'm going to take action. I'm going to go for a run. And then after the run, you feel amazing, you know? So, but but still, I guess, in which one is it that actually leads? Because you still make that decision with your mind, you know? But actually, it's your body which is maybe giving you the the long-term benefits it's a really interesting interesting sort of um theory isn't it like or or, you know which one is is higher in terms of ranking and and responsible for that sort of decision making this is why it makes sense to view them all as one as separate parts of the same whole as opposed to cordoned off different literally different sections of of uh, of of who we are um they 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 blur they blur together and the more you understand this and the more you're able to identify which part is kind of acting in which moment and what's really powerful about this and this sort of forms the basis of my 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 coaching like um once you understand that you can identify which parts of you are weak and then you can combat that weakness by engaging the other two parts of you or if it's two parts that are weak, you can use one part to, to to strengthen it, right? And it works in all directions. If the body is weak, you can use the spirit and the mind to 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 make it strong, right? Like if you literally can't do a push up, the body is weak, but you're like, by the end of the month, I'm gonna by the end of the month, like I'm gonna be doing a push up, and you just you think about how you're gonna do it. Like maybe I just do push-ups on my knees until I get strong enough to to do like one push-up right and then you will yourself to do it like I'm just not quitting I'm just not quitting and then eventually the body becomes strong right eventually through engaging the mind and the spirit the body becomes strong if you want like a basic cheat sheet of how I think about like what's doing what the body moves the mind thinks and analyzes and the spirit wills Mm -hmm. right I like that. That's I was gonna, cool. I was gonna ask you, like, where, like, what is the separation of spirit and mind? Because they're quite similar, but not obviously. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, they're, they are different. They're different parts of us. Like the mind, the mind will stop, and the spirit will go on, depending on your belief system, right? Like that's what I believe. The the soul is the everlasting part. Is the everlasting part of you, right? The 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 soul and the spirit. That's your will. That's like your determination. That's against all odds, against all rationality. I don't care. It's not good. It, the mind tells me, don't go outside in negative 20 and sit in your shorts. Dumb. You'll get frostbite. It's going to be cold, whatever. And the spirit says, I want to feel alive. I'm going out there. Right. And then the body moves. Right. So that's the big differentiator between, I think, the mind and the, the mind and the the spirit, the, the mind thinks and the spirit wills. It's just kind of like in your example of wanting to go for a run, if the mind was leading, you'd have kind of like a sheet in front of you when you got up and be like, reasons I'm running today, better cardiovascular health. Like you, you know what I mean? Like you would be engaging this rational part of your brain. And then you'd be like, you're, you know what? That's right. I'm thinking about all the reasons why. And but boom, boom, cost benefit analysis. And that is very powerful. It's a very powerful thing in the mind, right? Um, but most people never actually engage the mind when they make a decision. It's the spirit, it's that emotion. It's like, I want to go for a run because I'm just gonna feel great. 
right? Like, I don't care how far I'm going to go. I don't not working towards any goal. Um, my body might actually be sore because I went for a run yesterday, but I don't really care. I'm going for another run today because it feels great. Especially if like in your situation, it's like, it's a run out on the beach and you're getting like the salt water and the sun is coming up at the, like, mm, you could describe it with your mind, but you feel, you feel it with your soul. And that's what, that's what pulls me out to those sunrise uh, runs every single weekend. It's just like, whatever I got to do throughout the entire week to make sure I can do that, I'm going to do it. So my mind and my spirit and my body are all aligned in making sure that this is the one thing that I'm going to get to do this week. Right. Um, but ultimately, uh, ultimately it's like the three of them all in, in, in conjunction. Um, it's a tricky one. It's a really tricky one to parse, to parse out um, because when, where, where does thinking stop and where does determination begin? It's like, <laughs> I yeah. don't know. I, I I honestly don't know, but it's a good it's a good rough idea as to like which part of you is being engaged more so. Um just for like just for like any of these big decisions or big challenges or big transformations or whatever, like all three parts of you are always being brought to bear. You just have to be able to attune yourself to knowing which is which, what's strong, what's weak. And how do we counteract the weakness with the strength? Um, and that's, I've, I've experimented with this stuff myself and I'm just a, I'm a firm believer that it's an unbeatable system to tackle any challenge or any adversity that you're, that you're dealing with is find the combination. That's not that find the imbalance in that, in that combination, you're going to find your solution. 